Okay, so uh, this is just a quick look at the chiller cabinet. There we have the cry cooler, and at the top we've got the water distribution system. So you can see hoses coming in at the top, cooling water from the mains cold supply, and cooling circuits out to the rest of the components. So at the bottom we have a Sumitomo Cryogenics F70 compressor reads 98.4, I don't know what that means. Main switch, power connector, assorted other cables there, a few buttons, helium hoses running off out to the back of the cabinet, cooling water supply going up to the main cooling water distribution pipework. So, coolant reservoir there in white, a series of valves, pump. Inside there we've got some isolation valves, thermometer at the back. There's uh, a diverter valve used for diverting f water through the heat exchanger. Okay, this is the control unit now loads of circuit boards in there, no idea what they do. Looks incredibly complicated. This is all within the gradient cabinet so presumably it's all related to the signal processing. These are the gradient amplifiers, we've got three of those. One for the X, Y and Z directions. So big amplifiers there, signal in red and blue, signal out, black wires, you can see about 12 cores per cable. Cooling pipes there containing cooled water from the uh, chiller cabinet we saw earlier. In the back all sorts of connectors, circuit breakers, goodness only knows what else in there. Lots of high voltage warning si si stickers. Uh, no idea how much power go through the gradients but uh, my guess is that they're sufficiently inductive to have a very high voltage. Okay, this is the main control cabinet. So, a bunch of signal processing and uh, some sort of high voltage equipment in there. Not quite sure what that is. Whatever it is, it needs a lot of cooling water. You can see the chiller pipes connecting in there. Main input you can see a transformer in the background, big bunch of circuit breakers for all the different components. Transformer in the background there. Some sort of interface board. Some sort of signal processor. It seems to be generating the uh, RF references for the transmitter. A variety of control signals going out via coax cables. Various communication buses, I can see a, a CAN bus at the back there, a couple of Ethernet ports, a control computer, big bunch of uh, interface cards spewing out fiber optic cables to all the various components in the scan room. Okay, reset button, power button there, a few drive bays, 2.5 inch, not terribly interesting. Okay, this is a little bit more interesting. This is the controller for the shim magnet. It's used to correct for any inhomogeneities or in irregularities in the main superconducting magnetic field. Now, this thing, I don't know what it is, but it's got a lot of connections to it, so uh, it's probably quite important. Just an overview there, gradients to the left, control on the right, and there's a random cardboard box. don't know what that's for.